All right, so in this video, I am gonna go over the Amazon IP accelerator. We have a brand that needs a trademark. And uh, so basically, we I'm just going through this thing. I've never actually used the IP accelerator before. Uh, basically, what it does is Amazon has a bunch of kind of pre-vetted law firms that they work with that will help you get a trademark and help you get into brand registry uh, quickly. The idea is that you they have this list here. So if you just Google uh, Amazon IP accelerator, you're going to get this kind of landing pages here. Click get started. And then uh, in your Seller Central account, you will see this list of service providers. And they only have, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 law firms right now uh, that, that you can use. And, and then basically what you do is you just click on one of these and then do contact provider. So click contact provider. And then basically you're going to uh, ask them what you want, agree, put your information in there, and they're going to get back to you uh, via email or whatnot. So I went ahead and did that. I did it for one, and uh, let's see, I think it was these guys. And so their fee was $900 uh, for their fee plus $275 for the... Um, for the class. So when you get a trademark, basically you have to register your mark in a class. So you can like, uh, they basically, the government basically put, there's all these different classes of how you would use a mark. So you can have a mark for like a design service, a trademark for a clothing brand, a trademark for an auto mechanic or whatever, depending on how you're going to use it, right? So for example, Delta Airlines and Delta Faucets, they both have the trademark of Delta, but one is for like flying and, and, and commercial airlines, and the other one is for, you know, faucets. And so even though they have the same brand name, they're two different uses, and so, uh, or classes. And so basically, you're gonna pay um, the, the fee to the government, 275 bucks, that's kind of the fee no matter what, and then there's the law firm fee, which for the first one I did was $900, uh, plus 275 so 1175 in total and basically they'll turn around your trademark get everything complete in a couple of weeks and then they can get you into brand registry in like 10 days or so and so that's pretty cool uh, because basically within three weeks or so you can be in brand registry ready to go whereas if you did it on your own and use like a another service like a legal zoom or something else you'd have to wait until that mark got processed and then applied to brand registry and do all this stuff. So I definitely think this is gonna be better uh, than doing it the way that we've always done it in the past. Uh, so I went ahead and just contacted several of these guys and got pricing back. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't just getting, you know, highballed on one of them and I wanted to see how the pricing kind of matched up. So the first one uh, was these guys Loza and Loza and they were $900 plus 275, so 1175. And then um, I haven't even looked at these other guys yet. So this is Maven and I'm trying to see, okay, here we go. So these guys are saying 995 uh, plus, plus 325 here, it looks like, but then they have another one that says use space application in one class. Okay, intent to use application or use space application. 595 plus 225, 275. So it looks like uh, if you're going for this this different type of um, use, these guys might be a little bit cheaper. And then we have Idea Legal is one that I reached out to. And let's see if they give their pricing here. Okay, cool. So if you do one class application, Six hundred dollars plus two seventy five is eight seventy five, and then the last one, one class application, five ninety five plus uh, two twenty five or two seventy five per class. So it looks like uh, these two guys here, their their fees like six hundred bucks, six hundred bucks. This one also six hundred dollars basically, uh, but these guys are charging nine hundred dollars. Yeah, so these guys had like 147 reviews and they were all fully five star. So I reached out to them first because they look like the best rated, uh, but they are more expensive by a few hundred dollars than the other guys uh, that I have gotten quotes from. So I am going to pick one of these, try them out, 
and I will let you know how it goes and what the actual um, what the actual results are. So um, yeah, I'll probably we'll probably cut in the video when we get the results and uh, and see how it goes in a few weeks. Awesome. All right, so a few weeks ago, I started the IP accelerator from Amazon and went through and we went and we reached out to a bunch of different uh, law firms and the IP accelerator got back pricing and the pricing pretty much was around $875, but there was a couple outliers that were over $1,000. Uh, so we ended up going with Idea Legal and uh, choosing them as the company to do the IP accelerator with. So I think it was June 17th uh, was the, the day that they reached out to me. And uh, let's see, that was just for, just for uh, keeping track of time here. June 17th was a Friday. And then uh, basically I decided to go with them on uh, June 20, we kind of like on, on June 20, on June 19th, we uh, we kind of went with them and and started and started kind of the process. So basically, on June 17th, I reached out, and then on June 19th, we we went with them, and they started basically just exchanged a few emails, fill out a questionnaire and an engagement letter, and then paid the money. I ended up paying them on June 23rd to kind of file our trademark, and by June 23rd, they basically filed right then. And on July 6th, we got invited to go to brand registry. So basically June 17th reached out uh, through the IP accelerator. And then uh, July 6th, we were re ready to go inside of brand registry. So really fast, um, $875 and basically like less than three weeks, really like two weeks from the time that we paid them till uh and they applied till we got our brand registry so in my opinion that is really it was really a painless process basically what we did was just hit up a few law firms and then like handled everything through email like they had a couple of forms to fill out it took me less than a couple of hours to kind of go back and forth and answer a couple of questions and then we were able to get uh, in the brand registry within a couple of weeks from the time we actually paid uh, in the past the way that we've done it before is we would you know file for our trademark and then wait six months to get into brand registry and this was able to be done in you know literally a couple of weeks to do so if you're in a hurry and you're ready to get brand registered you want to get a plus content you want to be able to a lot of times for certain categories and things amazon's requiring you to be brand registered now so if your amazon's making you do it uh, if you want to be able to protect your brand from other people coming in and stuff like that uh, then brand registry ip accelerator is a great way to go through that process and and do everything and literally it was it was 875 dollars so it wasn't super cheap but even if you went to uh i've done some other providers in the past and it was like a couple hundred bucks and they didn't even get me my trademark so i'm pretty happy with this solution uh, idea legal is the company that we chose they seem really good um i like them a lot i will probably use them again in the future so shout out to idea legal thank you for uh, providing a good service for us and um yeah let me know if anybody has any questions about the ip accelerator about trademarks or any of those things um, i think it was a great experience all around and i'll definitely use it again